basically a Scooby-Doo character, he'll do nothing but constantly create those accounts. You see, those ki that kind of thinking, there was a Squidward vandal, a vandal that in, 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 in just basically put the character Squidward from SpongeBob SquarePants on every um, page that he could find. Well, he linked to the same image, so people wrote bots to look for that image being linked, thinking they had solved the problem. You see, it, when you have a situation where you think this must be some sort of automaton who is doing this kind of work. Now, meanwhile, one could constantly cause all of the admins to be worried about this onslaught. And meanwhile, over here, you're indicating that Helen Keller was not just a communist, but was a bisexual, angry communist who was actually not blind or deaf and, in fact, had a great music career. <laughs> if, you know, Wikipedia's solution to vandals, and remember, there's levels of vandalism. Obvious vandalism is Eric is a fag which is a very simple one, which is the, you know, the term that's generally used, which is you, know, you have an account on George Washington, someone changes it to Eric is a fag. This is very easily demarcated, both by scripts and both by people. You can have a bot that literally goes in and says, gee, this person who has never edited before has just edited an all uppercase entry and removed 45 paragraphs in doing so. <laughs> I'm going to assume that he is a vandal and I'm going to undo with my bot that work. And of course, that bot adds on to the level of the person. So what you end up with there is this over-belief that people could only be working along one set of purposes. Well, how, many, how hard is it to create a sock puppet who does nothing but want to delete articles, wishes to have them removed from Wikipedia, constantly fights to say, this is not relevant to the Wikipedia way. All it does is go on every day and every time there's a vote says, I agree with you, we must cut this place down to the bone. Until every once in a while this account suddenly decides, you know, I say I shouldn't delete these, but you know, this one, this one deserves to stay. The people who have been watching its reputation will say, my God, this delete happy bastard is really into this article. Surely this article must stay. So the person who has been running this express purpose of making sure this one survives gets his way. Is it worth it? I don't know. Is anything worth it? You know, value systems are very odd when you suddenly are finding yourself in one of the top 10 websites in the United States. So, um, Wikipedia has, an, uh, has a, a facility called Check User. Check User basically looks at the IP address of various accounts and correlates them. This is their tool to go against vandals. For instance, you log in as a, uh, as a person and you then log in from another account and log in from another account, but you're all using the same IP address, check user will find your ass out. Similarly, if you try to um, use your account and come in from different areas and then you start vandalizing and so on, it'll track everything back. Um, this only works when you don't use random Wi-Fi hotspots. But even then, Wikipedia has things I, I believe this person is vandalizing. Do they catch people who are not vandals? Yes. Do they catch people who don't know any better and are suddenly finding themselves banned from Wikipedia? Most certainly. Um, do they consider this worthwhile collateral damage? Yes, they do. Because when you get to a certain size, you say, does it matter if we lose a few people? The record was a IP address. Don't ask me why this IP address existed, but it was an IP address that um, over 100,000 machines um, as a proxy. So someone banned it. And so there was a lot of noise. And the question was, can we keep this open? Can we keep this open and still survive? And so this is where you come directly into their open collaborative model. If no one's been noticing, the collaborative model has been slowly shifting over the course of the last two years. For instance, uh, Jimbo Wales is no longer the head of the Wikipedia it is now a woman named Florence Dushard, who has no interest, actually, in everything Jimbo has to say as being as pure as gold. It's um, a big change within that organization. She is saying things like, no, we, we have to ask for more money. We have to make these policy changes. We can't allow people in this way because we can't survive this way. This is causing a kind of um, dichotomy between what's being said in interviews and what's being said on Wikipedia. 
within Wikipedia, it is now basically impossible to do major editing work on a living person. If you do editing work on a person, it is basically considered on the level of handling nuclear waste. If you, you see, the, you have to understand that as a result of this open collaborative model, there are now several subclasses of human beings. Um, if you can breathe, treat it a certain way. The moment you stop breathing, you enter this other subclass, which is more likely to be edited and speculated on. But until you are not breathing, there is now an enormous amount of pressure not to do anything untoward. Perfectly accurate facts have been reported, cases of crimes, cases of old controversies that have been simply deleted and kept deleted and kept deleted out of the permanently because they might lead to legal action. It astounds me sometimes to think about a fact that a group of people, uh, 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 a subculture of hackers and technical people and programmers who would laugh happily into their jolt cola about the fact that they were able to find a local exploit of the man page if you had an access to a machine through its firewall. Uh, see absolutely no problem with a environment where anybody can literally come onto any part of it and change it immediately. But the thing is, is that it's not sold that way. It's sold as a case of you can come on and make things better, as opposed to everybody can come on and make things worse. <laughs> That's very critical. Um, I recently goatsed MySpace, and one of the things about that, uh, about um, unwittingly causing 100,000 MySpace users to see Goetze <laughs> was that it occurred to me that people have always focused on the internet and online life as a case of bringing these wonderful things to you and you going out to getting these wonderful things without realizing that it's this two-way street that enables the worst common denominator to send you a shit-hot piping gun of terror. <laughs> It's a very strong violation the first time it happens to you. It's not so strong the 10th time. By the 20th time, you're looking for someone to do it to yourself. <laughs> right. The 12th time, you enjoy it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. By the 100th time, you're looking for them. You're paying money to get them sent. So, so you know, um, and that's, that's a critical thing with this two-way environment that's on Wikipedia. The thought is that every single edit made by a person that is not an obvious vandalism is, in fact, helpful. That's simply not the case. Um, becoming an administrator on Wikipedia has now become very difficult. Not very uh, much unlike, um, you know, uh, basically running for a, a high political office because a value system has been applied to it. And over time, an ad hoc approach to it, adding administrators, has basically led to a case of, you come on, somebody has to come on and request that you become an administrator, to which point you put on your sad top hat and say, I accept my uh, nomination and I will sit here before you. At which point, everybody gets to randomly ask you questions that suck, that may or may not be relevant to what you're doing. And in fact, sometimes it's they're relevant and sometimes they're not, but it's considered problematic if you do not answer in some fashion to some of these idiotic questions. What's your favorite color? Mountains, four. <laughs> and at that point, people then, quote unquote, reach a consensus, which is actually a vote. And the vote has people say, I am for this person. And what, and what I think is pretty unique in a political voting system, people will vote for or against your nomination and others get to respond to it. Try to imagine voting for any political office and walking outside and having a guy go, why? <laughs> Did you really think it through? In this case, you can have that happen all the time. You have people come on and say basically, you know, I don't agree with you. And then people say, this person who is voted for has only done 100 edits on Wikipedia and is not somebody we wish to have counted towards. Where did this value system come from? It's completely made up. It's ad hoc. It's random. It's actually changeable by the day. It's a case of you can have some people who will say, I mean, 
if you think of Wikipedia as being this thing where literally millions of people are connecting to it, yet you can literally have 12 people swayed in one direction or another if they focus their energy. Um, if people don't think there's already paid consultants whose job for different companies is to sit on Wikipedia, act like people, and every once in a while, pipe in every time somebody says this video card sucks, you know, I mean, they're not thinking straight. And, you know, that's one of those realities of today. Sony has certainly hired workers literally slave wage workers, whose job is just to be on forums, whose job is to sit there until the next Sony product comes out, whenever it comes out, six or seven months down the line, so that they can jump down the throat of people if they make fun of the Sony product. And they'll just pay that person, you know, whatever, 10, 15 bucks a day, or whatever it is, you know, just a little pittance, just keep on the system, just post a few things, and when you get a chance, activate you, and you will have to do this. This is the kind of exploits. You know, none of these are technical exploits. It's very hard to crash Wikipedia. It is possible. For a short period of time, their macro language was the attraction of something awful users who took a strong look at it and realized, wow, it has elements of recursion. It has elements of um, uh, a good example, a good exploit that was uh, also of use to some of you is the fact that being happy and global, Wikipedia uh, brought in Unicode. And Unicode is great. Unicode is like having one of those plugs that can go in any plug anywhere. And you're basically trying to push this porcupine-like ball of things into the right particular socket of wherever you are. And meanwhile, it's crazy. Well, Unicode lets you have characters from all over the world. Well, it turns out that there's a Cyrillic character in Russian language that looks like an A. And that's critical because somebody named Jimbo Wales with that A came on and had a fantastic three days on Wikipedia <laughs> before somebody figured out what was going on. And that was a perfectly great day. And I wonder how many of these other places that just you know, drop in the Unicode uh, you know, segment are even thinking that. Um, so, all right. <laughs> do I see things positive in Wikipedia as a critic, as a person? Yes, I do. Obviously, I think it is fantastic for knowing exactly when someone died. Um, it's very good at information that happened immediately because there is a meritocracy to immediately report something. If you're the first, first poster who's able to tell that Jack Valenti died, then you win barn star. You win. So that it tends to be good for. It's also really excellent for episode lists and lists of um, fan work, which is in some ways wanting, you know, people want that gone. But the fact is it's very good for that because it's very hard to contest basic lists and facts. It is much harder to say that somebody was influential or that somebody was not influential or that they loved somebody or that they cared about this more than that and it was reflected in this song. That stuff kind of gets lost, even if it's based on something. So there's several um, tools and several um, processes that are now in place in Wikipedia that are being used to control information that comes through it. And this is very useful for you in later times. Uh, the first one is one that's called trolling. Trolling is a very interesting concept. In trolling, you are a subhuman creature attempting to destroy everything that is holy and good about here. Anybody who supports you is obviously also a troll. So it's an effective way during an argument to say simply, you who are bringing up points of debate, concepts and theories, you are a troll. Done. And what ends up happening is that other people say, well, I don't want to feed the troll. I don't want to do that. And it's kind of interesting to watch that technique now used to squat various discussions. You know, uh, uh, you know there's, there's a healthy debate and then there's an unhealthy debate, and where do you go to the point that it becomes a Hatfield-McCoy feud? Um, for Wikipedia, it's now about six hours. So when you, want to do the, when you want to squash them and trolling doesn't seem to work, an excellent one right now seems to be the use of the phrase original research. Now, this is interesting, too, because Wikipedia 